This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to look at the arithmetic series formula, and in our first section, we're going to take an intuitive look at the formula, and in the second section, we're going to uh, do a formal proof of that formula. All right, let's get started. All right, so when we're looking at arithmetic series and we're trying to find the sum, let's take an intuitive look at how to do that. So let's start with a series. So let's say we had this series to start with. So we had 4, 9, 14, dot, dot, dot. Let's say then at the end we've got 74. We got 79 and 84. All right, so what's going on here is that we've got this series, and I have a few terms here in the beginning and a few ter terms here at the end, and I got a whole bunch of them. So what's the common difference? Just to make sure it's arithmetic, it looks like we're adding 5, right? Okay, so anytime we look at that, we see that the common difference is 5. We're adding 5. There you go. There's our common difference. All right, so if that's the common difference, let's play a little trick or do a little trick here. If we take the same sum, except write it in reverse. So I'm going to put the 84 first, 79 next. Uh, I could do that a little bit more neatly. Let's try that with a 79, a 74, dot, dot, dot. So then we're going to have 14, 9, and 4. So let's say if we took those two series, yep, it's the same series twice, add them together. If we add, we're going to get 88, 88, plus 88, yep, and you guessed it, 88, 88, plus 88. You know, it's a lot easier to add things when they're the same than when they're changing. Okay, so this is kind of convenient. So when I, what I did here, remember, is I added down. I took one series and I added it to the same series. So really, I have two series now. All right, so when I have these two series, let's figure out what's going on here. How many 88s are there? All right, well, I did a little calculation earlier, and I found out that there are 17 88s. Yep, there's 17 of them. If there are 17 of these 88s, that's which is equal to two sums. I only want one sum. So to find the value of one sum, I'm going to divide both sides by two. All right, now this, of course, is neat that I'm able to calculate this sum using this formula, but what's even more neat is what this 88 is. If I were to rewrite the sum a little bit differently, I would notice that that 88 is really nothing more than the first term and the second term combined together. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that intuitively it looks like, this is not a proof, but intu intuitively it looks like if you take the number of terms, I said there's 17 of them, you take the first term, last term, add them together and divide it by two, you get the formula. Now in our next section, I'm going to prove that this is actually true, but this is just intuitively just showing you how it all works. All right, so let's prove it in our next section. So let's say we have a series. Okay, so how do you write a series? Well, the series looks like this. Okay, so we have some terms, right? And all the terms are being added together. No, but we do know a little something more than this. So we also know that there is something called a common difference, that you add the same value to go from one term to the next. And we call that value D. Okay, so whatever the value at D is, that's what we add to go from one term to the next. All right, so keeping that in mind, we could be a little bit more clever how we write our series. We could say that our first term is A, right? It's just whatever A is. Call it A1. Okay, now to get to A2, instead of writing A2, we just, to get A2, you take the A1 
and you add a D. Really, that's how we get to A2. How do you get to A3? We get A1, but we really have to add two Ds, or I have to add a D to this A2 term. So if I add a D to this one, it's going to be two Ds. Okay, and so on. Okay, when I get almost to the end, it's going to be the second term from the end. It's going to be, uh, let's see, A1 plus and minus two Ds. And then the last term is going to be A1. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeeze it in. A minus one D. Yep, able to squeeze it in. So this is what all the terms look like so that we just write it in terms of the first term. So A1, A1 plus D, A1 plus 2Ds. You could see that if this is the first term, here's our second term. I mean, if you really line them up a little bit more carefully, this is our uh, N minus one-th term, and this is our nth term. You can see a connection here. You could see that um, you're adding 1D, it's always one less than the term number. Okay, so here's the third term, you gotta add two Ds. Here's the N minus one term, you gotta add one less, N minus two Ds. If this is the nth term, you got N minus one D. So however many Ds you add is always one less than the term number. Okay, I don't know if that helps, but it's kinda nice to see. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the sum to itself, just like we did earlier when we looked at the uh, series intuitively. All right, let me get these black, this black series out of here. All right, now if I take the same series, so let's say we do the series, now I'm just gonna write it in reverse order. Okay, so if I put it in reverse order, uh, I want my last term first. Okay, so this is going to be A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Okay, now we have our second term. Okay, our second one is going to be A1 plus N minus 2 D. Okay, then our third term is going to be A1 plus N minus 3 D. Okay and so on. Okay, now if we want to get to the second to the last, that's actually our second term here. So it's going to be A1 plus D. And then our first term is just plain old A1. Okay, so what I want to do to make sure you, we actually could see this a little bit better, um, I want to draw some uh, little circles here, or ovals, whatever, so we could see what I'm going to combine. So we could see which terms are lining up. It's kind of it's kind of hard to do that right now. So that's why I think that these yellow little blobs here might help us, uh, so we could see what is being added together. Okay. So uh, and I'm going to be adding these guys together also, and being very careful so I can see which ones are being combined. So if I add these together, right? We're just adding the first term with the last term, the second term to the second to the last term, and so on. Let's see what we actually get. Okay, so let's let's add them together. Okay, if we add them together, I get A1 plus A1, where there's two A1s. I get an N minus 1D. Oops. Try to squeeze it in there, but I forgot my plus sign. All right, now let's add the next one, A1 plus A1. Oops, again, that's another two A1s. I got D plus N minus 2D. Okay, so if I, if I add 1D plus N minus 2Ds, in other words, I'm adding 1 plus N minus 2, that's going to be N minus 1D. I'll let you do a little algebra there if you need to see that. Okay, A1 plus A1 is two A1s. If I add 2 plus n minus 3, I get n minus 1d. Okay, what do I get over here? I'm going to get something similar. I'm going to get dot, dot, dot. I'm going to get, let's see, a1, two a1s, plus another n minus 1d, 
And I'm not going to be able to squeeze this in here, so I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to get another 2a1 plus n minus 1d. All right, so you can see that when I added, I now really have two sums. Okay, I have two sums that are being combined together. Um, so for this two sums, what do I really have? Well, remember I have an n number of terms, right? There's n terms in this, these two series that I added, basically the series added to itself, but there's n terms. So I know that there's n number of these, right? You know, it doesn't take a genius to see that I have the same thing reoccurring over and over again. I mean, you could see it. It's the same expression over and over again, and there are n of them. Okay, so there's n of them. So if I have n of them, I'd rather write it, write it like that. There's n of these 2a1 plus n minus 1 d's. Okay, there's n of them. But I don't want two sums. I only want one sum. So I got to divide both sides by two. So the value of one sum is going to be this n, 2a1 plus n minus 1, d, all divided by 2. All right, so I have this formula. It's looking kind of complicated, but I like to be able to figure out what it is. Okay, what, what is really going on here? All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we can give ourselves a little bit more room. But let's figure out what this is. Let, let's kind of unpack this. So what the heck is 2a1 plus n minus 1d? Okay, well, let's think about it. Let's see, 2a1, that's really a1 plus a1. Okay, all right, well, this is our first term. That's a1. What is all this? Okay, I'm going to underline this, all this in yellow. What is all this? Well, it turns out if you go back to our series, I'm going to scroll back up a little bit, if you go back to the series, you can see that that was the last term, right? That's the last term in our series. Okay, so I know that that's really just the last term. So all this stuff in parentheses is really just the first term plus the last term. So to write our formula, maybe in a way that's more less complicated, you would say that instead of writing it all that, Let's just put a1 plus a n, okay, all over 2. All right, so intuitively we knew that this was the case. The way you find the sum of a series is you take the first term, you take the last term, you find the sum, you multiply by the number of terms there are, and then you divide that whole thing by 2, and there you go. That's been proven, it's been derived. All right, make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our text-based lessons, interactive quizzes, and instructional videos. Take care.